We are trying to collect all possible ideas and avoid repeating any idea as much as we can. This question needs the skill of drawing diagrams. In the space below, draw a labeled diagram of a cathode ray oscilloscope. Include in your diagram the tube, the cathode, the accelerating anode, the focusing anode, and both X and Y plates. This is the shape of the tube of the CRO. First thing you start with the cathode, which is negative. Behind the cathode, there must be the heater filament, which will heat the cathode for thermionic emission. The two hollow tubes are the two anodes, the accelerating and the focusing. They are hollow to allow the beam of electrons to move through. This ring is the grid, which controls the beam of electrons. The cathode and the anode both are connected to a high voltage DC supply, about 600 volts. Next to these parts comes the Y plates, two parallel horizontal plates, which will deflect the beam of electrons up and down. Next to the Y plates are the X plates. These are responsible to deflect the beam of electrons left and right across the screen. The beam of electrons comes from the negative cathode controlled by the grid and accelerated by the anode through the Y plates, X plates and finally hit the fluorescent screen. Inside the tube there is vacuum. And here is the fluorescent screen. Starting from the heater filament until the anode, this part is named the electron gun. The Y plates and the X plates, these are the deflection system. And finally, the third part of the oscilloscope is the fluorescent screen. This is how to perfectly draw the parts of the cathode ray oscilloscope. I know that the mark scheme will not need all of these parts, but actually, we drew everything in details. Let's have a look on the mark scheme. X and Y plates labeled, this is one mark. The second mark is for the anodes. There are other accepted shapes, but the correct shapes is drawing them as hollow tubes. The third mark is for the arrangement of the parts cathode and anodes and X and Y plates, all three features in correct order. This is the third mark.